Alright guys, Merciless Thor versus Slayer Thor. Who's going to do more damage in Hydra? I've had a bunch of you guys, like a hundred of you guys, tell me in the comments to switch my Slayer Thor to Merciless Thor. But this was a test that I wanted to try out, Slayer versus Merciless, before Scratch even came out with his video. Because ever since Scratch came out with his video, I've had you guys constantly tell me Merciless Thor. Merciless gives more ignore mechanics. And actually, if you can get a nine piece on Merciless, then you have a good chance to take an extra turn. It's like all of those combined together. 35% ignore defense. You put him with some cruel then that's 40% ignoring. Really good set. Off rip, I think this is going to be the better. I think it's gonna win, but I only have six pieces available. I can't get a nine piece out of him quite yet, but I do have a nine piece set available for Slayer. Now with Slayer, you get 30% ignore defense when using AOE skills. You also get turn meter fill, and then you also get a 30% chance to deal additional AOE with AOE skills. So hold that thought. Thor's A2, it's coded as a single multi-hitter, closer to something like Mashaled. Even though it says it's AoE, it's not an AoE. His A2 is actually the move that hits the hardest, and that's because it gets a charge. By the fourth enemy, by the well, the Hydra head, the fourth Hydra head that's going to receive the last hit is going to receive the full damage. Increases damage inflicted by 25% up to 100%. His A3 is an AoE. His passive Skyrupture is an AoE. Both awesome skills. We're not going to really dive into that. We do place decrease speed. So these two skills here would contribute to the AoE that is required of a Slayer set. But a lot of people would make the argument the A2 is the thing that hits the hardest. So we really want to dive into that with a Merciless set. You know, sharing this in the conversation in this little experiment, even though it's already been done, I wanted to do my own thing. I don't like blindly copying other people. I want to figure things out for myself because even if I copied somebody else, it might work for them, but it might work differently for me. So that's the main reason. Decrease speed. It's important that we build him with accuracy. Nature's Wrath is going to give him a boost to damage by 15%, so increases by 3% for every debuff they place. Moving on to the specific pieces of gear, we're focusing on speed, crit rate, crit damage, accuracy, you see that, HP, defense, and of course attack and crit damage. You'll notice Ascension is on HP, HP, defense. Thor is naturally a squishy champion. He's a glass cannon. Unfortunately, that means for us that we need to focus down on survivability stats. You see right here, 1500 HP. That's manageable. The defense though is not manageable. He gets hit and he gets hit hard and that sucks. We have to focus up on survivability stats. 58,000 HP, 3400 defense. Attack, crit damage, priority stats. And then we have crit rate and well, I guess crit rate would be like the number one priority stat also. So attack, crit rate, crit damage, 5,800 attack, 100% crit rate naturally, 320% crit damage, 233 speed. You want to make sure that your nukers, even though their main focus is to nuke, you want to make sure that they're going fast enough because if a nuker doesn't go fast enough, doesn't take a turn, it doesn't matter how hard they hit, they're not going to be doing anything. 300 accuracy. You don't have to worry too much about accuracy the lower you are in stages, but the higher you go, the more you might want to consider focusing on it. However, I will remind you guys that his A3 decreases res of each enemy up to 50%. So that helps a little bit. The heads get decapitated, it gets reset. So that doesn't stay permanent. The decrease to res isn't permanent. These are the masteries taking Helm Smasher, counterattack masteries, pretty standard for nukers, at least for me. It's also worth pointing out the true stats because when you go into Hydra, because I have live arena points, it's actually going to be closer to 6,000 attack, 253 speed, 329 crit damage, and 366 accuracy. All right, so let's go ahead and see it. I'm just going to let it run on auto. I'm not going to target anything. I'm not going to influence anything. And I'm going to do the same thing when it's, when it's time for Merciless. And the reason I like to test things on full auto is because that's the way I do Hydra nowadays. I don't really um, manual my runs anymore. It, I'm a set it and forget it guy. I don't, I don't like really manualing my, my runs anymore. So let's see what he's doing. 157, I think I saw 157 over there. We're focusing on the damage coming from Thor. Remember he does take some time to charge up, but it's all good. He hits hard regardless. They're, they're getting swiped away. 
Razzlevarg and Cupidus are in the team doing a pretty good pretty good job as well in terms of damage. Although I have to take another look at my 159 from Thor on the decapitated head. No decreased defense or weaken. No increased attack. I'm missing increased attack from the team. I might have to revamp. Yeah, actually, I'll, I'll probably need to revamp this team to keep increased attack up uh, more consistently. He does self buff, Thor, I mean, but let's slow it down. 350, 364, I saw. But you want to make sure the buffs stay up for as long as possible, all the time, every time. The last time I did this run on a different rotation, 480 right there. Thor was the top, but Razzlevarg outdid Cupidus in terms of damage. All right, what are we doing? 691 there. That's a good. That's a good hit. Keep in mind, this rotation is kind of a bad rotation because Thor is negative affinity to these force heads. So it's kind of a rip there. 239, twice I saw over there. Decapitated head 370. I mean, Thor is just smacking through. So I did a, oh, eight. Oh wow, 1.2 million all the way on the right, I think I saw. That was nice, the, the decapitated head. I saw 800,000, 850 over here, and then 1.2 million, I think. I did Brutal the other day, just to test it out, and I fucking hate this head. And Thor actually did the 1.7 million on the Brutal head. I thought that was pretty cool. Of course, that was my uh, Merciless Thor. Uh, so I will admit to that. That was Merciless Thor. Oh my gosh, this AI. Why would you target the head that has the poison cloud? It is what it is. Gotta let it run. Let, gotta let it fly. Gotta let it run. I've been thinking about changing Tuana Rock out and just putting in. Yeah, we're weak hitting here, and just putting in another Inquisitor Shamayel because it's nice to have Tuana Rock, but Fear stays up until she takes a turn. And that's not exactly the most reliable thing for me because we're wasting a lot of moves. All these true fears that are proccing means that skills are being wasted. If Shamael was here, then I wouldn't have to worry about it so much, but he's not here all the time or he's not in this team and she's not taking a turn all the time. So that's kind of a, a rip. This is another issue here, this head places the reflect damage and so if Tuana Rock doesn't place the block buffs up in time then we're kind of uh, SOL there. So now I'm thinking because we're also on a negative affinity head like there's one two I think I saw a third one earlier like three negative affinity heads I don't know if we're going to be able to hit the turn limit here on hard but we might pick a turn and just roll with it damn look at that okay what did we hit for i saw 200 something over there so i might say like okay uh by boss turn 100 we'll just end it and see where we're at and then switch to merciless all right so increase or increase the he increases the um what do you call it crit damage and does the ally attack 159. The other thing I was thinking about, right, was seeing if I could just get away with dropping the crit rate on some of my champions. What did we hit for there? Uh, we, hit, we weak hit, and then that Serpent's Will. Yeah, um, I haven't seen any videos yet on how other content crit, because I know that some, I saw, I saw um, thumbnails, but I didn't watch the videos. The test server looking at what the hydra is going to be doing in the future from what i've heard it's not it's not pretty but it is what it is I'm not too worried about it but i can also hear the community saying like it's gonna suck and yeah i, I agree with you because uh if i was in the position where i didn't have a lot of options and i was struggling to get into hydra i'd, I'd be pretty pissed Wait, I don't want to focus too much on the nerf. Let's focus on Thor here. All right, 
So let's see this hit 852 on the head all the way on the right, decapitated. Looking like we're in good health here. All right, so I'm going to let this run to boss turn 100. Oh, Thor got eaten. Let's see if we can get him out first. I hate this, this poison head here. Get the hex on. Keep the burn on. Okay. Yeah, we got the block buffs. We're not too worried about it now. There you go. Get the brimstone on. Okay. I'm going to let this run all the way to turn 100. And then we'll see. Wow. Of all the heads to pick, Cupidus, you chose to use the ally attack on none of the uh, none of the decapitated heads. You chose to attack the one that has serpent will on it. Perfect. All righty. It looks like we're coming up here to the end. We have 10 turns left, 90 turns in. I was a little worried there that reflect damage came up, but luckily Venus was able to remove the buffs. So we're all good. And this head is about to get smacked because this is like the weakest head ever, but we'll see if we can get around to it before the timer comes. But I'm pretty sure Thor, Thor is gonna do his thing. He's been smacking even his passive hits pretty hard. I've been seeing it hit for like 500k, 600k, and that's, I mean, it's just, that's nice for a passive, right? Here it is, watch. Of course, you're gonna pick the, the beefiest head to use your ally attack on. That's, that's, uh, oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, I hope they fix the AI there with targeting. All right, look at that. Passives popping off. Oh, are we gonna break 200 mil? Is Thor going to take us to 200 mil? Well, I guess Razzlevarg and... Okay, six, six, 600k around here. Oh, we did get to 200 mil. He took us there. I wish there was... Maybe I'm just blind or haven't been paying attention, but I wish there was a way to see when, when Slayer gear procs. All right, is that 100 right here? Nope, one more. Oh, that's right, okay. The, bo the boss has to take a turn. There you go. Okay, that's there you go. Turn 100. We're going to end it right here. So we're going to say end battle. 210 mil. Thor did 79 by himself. Razzlevarg 38. 33 from Cupidus. Now let's go ahead and we're going to switch Thor out in Merciless gear. I already have something put together because I've been uh, messing around with it already. So now he is in Merciless, getting that 35% ignore. And then we're keeping two pieces of Slayer on. I don't have any Merciless gear in terms of uh, accessories. So because of that, I wasn't able to make it happen. But let's look at the uh, pieces of gear that we have for Merciless. Same concept, we're looking for the same things there. Now you will see that I have an off piece in Retaliation, but it's got attack on attack, no Titan. Speed with attack percent. Attack on attack, attack with crit damage. You guys saw that one already. Here, you guys already know the priority stats. Not gonna go over that, but you notice the difference between Merciless Thor and Slayer Thor. Merciless Thor here has less HP, less defense, about 200 here, about 100 there, has two less speed and 20 less percent of crit damage. But we also have more attack, but Slayer Thor had more crit damage. And uh, accuracy, about the same, doesn't really matter too much. But let's go ahead and see what we look like in Hydra. True speed, gonna be 251, 309, 6700 for attack. Everything's the same. We're still in hard Hydra. I'm gonna go do this and then click auto. Let's see if we can pay attention to some of the damage Thor is putting out now. Sad, look at this, three negative heads for Thor three heads for him to weak hit on and we have 10 turns left so thought i'd start hitting record again and showing you guys where we're at in terms of damage i think around boss turn 100 we were already pretty much on the cusp of 200 i think 200 mil i'd have to check again but i'm pretty sure so i'm a little curious about this and Thor seems to be, at least as I was watching it, he didn't really seem to be doing that much more than a nine piece slayer. But then again, the argument will probably be 
in the comments well he's not in a nine piece slayer or he's not in a nine piece merciless set so i think i might just have to leave him in a nine piece slayer set for now until i can pump out nine piece merciless and then i might you know change it back to merciless but it's looking like slayer might be the way to go for now especially with the upcoming nerfs or rebalances with hydra they want us to use the word rebalance um it i think that thor is going to do very well boss turn 100 where is it okay there it is that's 100 so 174 let's end the battle and see so thor did 9 million less i think let me see here thor did 79 mil razzlevark did 38 i guess he took more turns this time around tuana rock did seven venus did 38 i think it just might have been an rng thing i might have to run it again just to see so let's go ahead and run it again we're already past where we were with a slayer set i'd say it's pretty significant but what it's going to what's going to determine my overall decision is based on what thor does himself because sometimes the rng happens like razzavar will take multiple turns or um you know just things happen not trying to discount tor 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 i'm not trying to discount thor or anything i'm just trying to make the most objective decision that i can i mean it's looking like just things lined up proper this time around and to be honest with you that's the way that a lot of these hydro runs go nowadays sometimes even even though i i let my hydro runs just go full auto walk away set it and forget it sometimes i see it and i'm just like well i don't like this score so i just hit replay and i let the hydro run run again there look at that that was like a, a bunch of just like that was like two million damage with just this a1 right there because the uh 20 proc that was like 500 plus on 500 plus that's crazy okay so it looks like 20 250 mil maybe if we get a really nah, that's pushing it that's pushing it. that's asking for too much all right so there that's boss turn 100 and we stop right there okay we're gonna end the battle we're gonna see the war did 94 million okay we'll call it 95 it was 94.9 what exactly happened because this is a big difference right this one that we did thor only got 70 71 million so i'm wondering what happened there because that's that's an interesting difference but it looks like thor really is just better in, in merciless what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep messing around with merciless thor maybe switching back and forth between slayer thor and merciless i mean i was already convinced going into this that merciless thor was already going to be better plus i wanted slayer gear for marius uh, hi babe we just made a song and i'm rapping about other girls and i was just wondering if yeah.